I hear an announcement that uh, a trailer was stolen and found. Guys, I'm so excited. Andrew, you got big news. Um, a lot of you've had a lot of emotions the last couple of days. So let's start with Monday and how well it went, and then progress from there. So Monday this is my first Dragon Drive. We um, had a good day. There were a lot of oil downs and everything, so it was a little slow start. But our pass went good. Uh, the drive went well. We ran with a bunch of guys. Had a perfect first day Dragon Drive. So we're telling ourselves, oh, this isn't so hard. Like this is good. Like it's gonna be a good week. And then we go to um, the track Tuesday, run the track, pass goes all right, we leave the track, we don't even get five miles down the road, and a fitting starts leaking oil. Dumping right on the collector, and it's smoking, and we're kind of in the middle of nowhere outside of the track. So we finally figure it out, get a pipe plug in there, get back on the road. I got a uh, fitting for my oil pressure sanding unit that loosened up on me. Oh. And now it's fighting me and I think the dirt's got, got a little gacked up. So, oh no. Um, gotta pull it back out and just slam a pipe plug in it and try to hit the road. Yeah. But with uh, long tube headers on a 4 Gen F body, it's not a whole lot of room under here. <laughs> right. So it happens. The, uh, luckily I didn't oil down the track and there's nothing major so I'll be able to keep going. All right, man, good luck. All right, thank you. Same thing, we start catching guys, like, all right, we're all right. Like, it's a little late. We were hoping for an earlier day, and it didn't work out that way, but no big deal. Get to the hotel, nice hotel, no fault of their own. Uh, come out this morning, and my trailer's gone. This morning. This morning. This morning, a few hours ago, 7 a.m. on, what day is today? Wednesday. My trailer was gone. And I was beside myself. Like, we're looking around the parking lot, like maybe somebody moved it, maybe somebody's messing with it. This is a mean joke. A very mean joke to do to somebody when my run group's going first today. Yeah. And it's a short drive, so we're looking forward to a quick day, quick pass, one and done, get on out, and um, get to Valdosta and just kind of relax, actually get a chance to relax, because it hasn't been very relaxing. Instead, I got to meet the uh, some people from the Alachua County Sheriff's Office, had a nice conversation with them, I posted in the group about my trailer being stolen, and as soon as it got approved, instantly I, I'm getting nothing but out, outreach. Like, if you need anything, you need tires, tools, whatever you need, and then uh, get done with the sheriff's office, come out here, talk to Summit, get some tires. We decided going to finish the week anyway. We we'll just we can't run as fast as we could, but we'll just throw some 17s on it, go buy some tools, and finish the week. But I get here, I'm not here five minutes. I don't even walk to the tower. And uh, I hear an announcement that uh, a trailer was stolen and found. And so I had no idea. I, I pulled my phone out and all of a sudden I see all the messages. And somebody was nice enough to give me a call and get me the information with the sheriff's office in the county it was found. Apparently they wanted it, couldn't get in it, decided that it was too much, dropped it on a dirt road in the middle of nowhere, and uh, somebody who has been following the event saw it, started making phone calls, and yeah, the sheriff's office got it, it got brought to a lot, I called the lot, they were actually nice enough to tow it out here for me. Dude, that's so awesome! Yeah, and then I still, at this point, don't know if I have an empty trailer or a full trailer, and I, at this point, I just, I'm just happy to have my trailer. Like, I, I can recover from everything else. I just want my trailer. That's one more thing. And it gets here, and it, it was full. They never got in it. Oh, my gosh. So somebody had to see it and then probably see that post, I guess? Or, I guess. or hey, hey, dude, drop that trailer. It's, it's widely known. Somebody knows it's gone. Yeah, it definitely got noticed pretty quick. So it, it worked out. The power of social media, the, the racing community here. And not even just the people involved in the event, the people who are following the event, they all care and they all want to see us do well. And, you know, like I said, I just, I can't even believe it was still full. Like, it's so amazing, dude. I'm so glad that that happened. I'm so glad that, happened, especially for your first one, like to have that kind of worry and then it come through and work. Well, tell us a recap on the car. What all's done to the car? Uh, it's a fairly simple setup. It's a six liter LS. Um, LQ4, uh, F1.8 Pro Charger, T56 Magnum, 4.9 inch, uh, 
runs a Holly E85, makes just over 700 of the tires. Car's been 990 at 140, but I lacked the safety equipment to run that intentionally. Yeah. That wasn't exactly intentional. Uh, it was a good weather day and the car just ran. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it, it's a pretty fun, pretty simple street car. Yeah. Um, very comfortable to ride in. Just Dude, listen, I'm telling you, 10 second street cars are where it's at, man. Oh, yeah, because they don't break as much. Well, and you don't have to have a big, big, crazy cage. You know, it, it can live on the street a lot easier. Yeah, but after doing this, and I, even before, well, even before my trailer got back, I I have plans. I want to up the cage, make a little more power. I want to try to do a consistent uh, 850 stick car so I can run with some of these big dogs out here. Dude, you're an animal. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> That's